Okay, so this is just a little test to see if I am going to be able to do this and show people how to log in. This is our Southern Adirondack Realtors website. And you're going to go in the upper right hand corner to Member Login. And then put in your username or your email address. Your username is your ten, if you're a realtor is your ten your nerds number, and or you can use your email address. If you don't remember your password or you never really had one, just ask for lost your password down here. Click there. They'll send you a temporary password and then you can reset with one that you prefer to uh, to remember or try to remember. So I'm going to type in my password and my email address actually. And then I'm going to type in my password. And log in with any luck. I did that right. And here we are. Now, for the purpose of updating your, you're not going to see this black band across the top here. That is strictly for us as, uh, as administrators of the website. But you are going to go down to, on the right hand um, menu, My Profile. Click on My Profile and you're going to enter your password and confirm your password enter your email your name update that information and for the purpose of the realtors I'm going to add a new realtor because I'll be able to show you the other fields This would look very similar to you if you were adding in uh, yourself as a new Realtor. We will be adding in some of the mandatory fields, but then you can also add uh, designation. You can add um, additional lines for address, website. You can enter up to three zip codes that you serve. Um, your default will always be uh, where your brokerage is actually located, but you are able to add in three additional zip codes for service areas that you specialize in. Be sure to go keep scrolling down to your short description. Add a short description, who you are, your specialty areas, and they do they do say the short summary should be your business in two to three sentences. This will appear at the top of your business page and on listing pages. Then feel free to go down and do your long paragraph. You will notice that you do have the ability to bold and italicize bullet things. Please remember that for people that are using a computer screen or um, or a cell phone or tablet that sometimes short sentence paragraphs and then some bullets or some numbered things people tend to visually be able to read that a lot easier you can put in links and you can center or left or right justify longer description of your business that appears on your business page under more info tab and then you will have a button here that will say update info be sure to add in pictures of your profile you will see that uh, where you'll be able to do that. We cannot do that. You'll have to do that yourself. I hope that helps. Similar for the affiliate. Add a new affiliate. And again, uh, we will be selecting a category. You are allowed to pick an additional category. And then a uh, representative name, business address, your website, short description again, summary of your business in two to three sentences. This will appear at the top of your business page and on listing pages. A longer description, please feel free to add in links. Use those bullets, use those numbers, 
bold things if you'd like. The more you do, it's a little bit easier on the eyes to read. And again, remember to always scroll down to the bottom. You will have an update info here. And uh, you know, go back and preview it and see. You're, you're able to go in and, and add and update this as frequently as you like. And that completes our video.